It's Cynthia Yakushev. I came to share with you a few telltale signs about procrastination that I learned when I was teaching school and a way that it can be fixed. It's very easy to tell which students will struggle and which will not. The student that struggles will have a desk that has books and papers stuffed into it. And the student that does not struggle has an organized desk. Disorganization with your artifacts indicates that you do not like to organize and that you are motivated by pleasure. Disorganization is indicative of a chaotic mental state. Uh, you feel familiar with chaos. Disorganized people tend to show symptoms by saving junk like plastic bags or unopened mail um, or other symptoms such as dirty hair and body. Uh, teeth that are not clean and clothes that are not washed. Now as a child, they are dependent upon their parents and therefore they have to submit to the economy status that their parents are dependent upon. All of these symptoms will cause procrastination because their habitual behaviors of uh, their lower self dominate. If you feel difficulty uh, in starting the task or finishing it, there are ways to fix the problem. Now, a lot of people will tell you that, uh, let's say for example, uh, if you wanna become very wealthy and they'll tell you that you have to change your habits uh, to become rich uh, or you have to change your mindset to become uh, wealthy. Well, this may be true, but uh, you need the details of what that looks like. Uh, so this is uh, what I did with my students in school to help them stay on task. And we have to think of it like, uh, or relate it to like training an animal like a dog, because the lower self belongs to our animal nature. Now, whenever we want to start to do something, something that you need to do, that's important for you to do, have a time limit on it to accomplish and um, suddenly you find yourself backing away from it. This is what happens. First, the thought comes into your head that you need to do such and such. You will either take care of the task right then, right there, now, um, or you will wait five minutes. Then you're gonna wait 10 minutes, then an hour, then one day. Recognize your behavior. You are not taking care of the task. Your thoughts have changed and therefore your behaviors have changed and you fall off track of your task. However, this behavior is fixable. First, you need to acknowledge who you are. You are a person that is motivated by pleasure. In other words, um, it's, if it's not fun, you don't wanna do it. Uh, this is just a filter that you live with and that you acquired during childhood, whether you know it or not. We all have them and we all fight them. Uh, the key is to become aware of them so that we can remove them. All things cannot be mo motivated by reward, uh, whether it's an external reward like uh, payment for a job or internal rewards like, oh, I'm so proud of myself because the ego is also a filter that can hurt our thinking. Here's what you can do. Take what you really need to do or really want to do and set it aside for 10 minutes. That's your reward. Now take your task, the one that is priority and engage in it for 10 minutes. It might be a struggle because you don't want to do it, but it might be a struggle, but it's only for 10 minutes. After you finish the 10 minutes of your priority task, then you go do your reward for 10 minutes. And then you come back and you do your priority task for 10 minutes, and then you switch to your, your reward uh, for 10 minutes, and you alternate back and forth. And in this way, you're training your brain and your energy field to reprogram you through behavior. It's an old system developed by uh, Maslow. Um, it was a motivational theory. So um, in short, it's very easy and in a short period of time you will learn to do less and less time uh, spent on the reward and you'll value the task that is your priority because it does have it does hold a higher value. So what you want to do is you want to be the programmer of your life 
or be the failure of your old programs. I hope this helped. Um, you know, hit the subscribe button if you want to hear more uh, inspirational words um, and, and things to learn about how to improve uh, the way you think and the way that you want to behave in the world to get a better result in your life. And I will see you next time. Until then, uh, pursue happiness.